take a look at some effects and other things I use on a regular basis within Final Cut 10. I will start by saying I do not use any third party um, plugins or effects or any of that. There's some great stuff out there. I encourage you to go check those out. I personally have found that sticking with Apple's default stuff seems to be plenty good for me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go through some of those things. So the first one is color correction. And I'll pull up a clip here. And here you have a couple simple things I do to almost every single video to deal with color. Um, in conjunction with that, I always use my scopes and that really helps. And I've done a whole video on this workflow and it's a kind of a foolproof way to make sure your color's good, you don't have any funky skin tones, uh, exposure, which order to do things in, all that. So check that out, link will be in the description. So color corrector, very versatile, um, really, really dig it. And I, I'm very glad I took the time to learn it instead of jumping ship and going with its traditional three color wheel system with Premiere or something like that. The next one I use pretty often is, oops, sharpen. Um, often, almost every video actually, I do two cameras and it's really just one camera. I just crop in and on that crop in, which you're looking at right here, I add a little bit of sharpening. So let me back out um, of the color corrector and there's sharpen. Uh, 1.5 seems to work pretty good for a real tight crop like this. Otherwise, I use 0.5 if I just want to take a standard shot and just, just add a little bit of sharpening to it if things look a little soft. So that kind of takes uh, the edge off a little bit or adds the edge. And that pretty much does it for the video effects. Um, now moving on to audio, that's where I really take advantage of Final Cut's um, effects. So let's take a look at this clip and go to the audio tab. And here I have compressor. And these settings right here is pretty much exactly what I use on every single video that I shoot. And what a compressor is in very simple terms is taking the peaks and valleys of audio waveform like you see down here in the timeline and bringing them a little closer together. That way if I get really soft in my talking, it's not gonna be too quiet essentially when you're listening to the video. And if I immediately get really loud, um, your people aren't gonna have to be constantly adjusting the levels on their speakers. So this really helps with that. It's great for dialogue as well. So these are the settings I use. Ratio 3.11, uh, negative 10 for the threshold, and essentially the lower you bring this, the more it's gonna reach into the lows and pull those levels up. I have found for the setup that I use in my microphones, negative 10 is a nice option for me. Gain will then um, boost it. So you can do a lot within this, um, which is great. So I use that to bring up the levels. Usually my levels are sitting at around negative 12. So this helps me get a little higher. So that's compressor, uh, really powerful. I always use it. Another one I'll use on occasion um, is EQ. So if we go in here and I usually choose channel EQ. And if we drag that over, we can open it up and have a lot of control over our EQ and what we wanna do with audio frequencies. I'll cover this more in depth in a later video, but if you have a bad frequency, you can easily take it out. You can add your own high pass, low pass, lots of amazing flexibility and some really cool tricks here. But that again is going to be another video. So we'll cover that later. Another audio uh, effect I use all the time is the limiter. What's great about this is, let me go back to my main timeline here is if I finish editing a video and I'm happy with the audio, but every once in a while it peaks and goes above zero, which is not the case here, everything's cool. What you can do is I'll select all, create a compound clip, and then I can drag the limiter over it. And if we go into the audio tab, we can go to limiter and we can control what the highest level is going to be on that entire clip. So um, you can just say nothing goes above zero or any level here and just keep dropping it down until everything's cool. So really easy way, that way you don't have to go through your entire project and be screwing around with uh, your levels there. So compressor helps a lot with that, but um, if you need to blanket a limiter across everything in your project, that's a great way to do it. The last uh, effect actually is a generator. So clicking over to the generators tab, and that is under solids and custom. It's usually under all as the sixth option here. This is literally just a black box. You can do 
anything with it and I've used it for so many different things. You can use it to cover up certain parts of the screen. You can change the color under the generator options. Often I'll use it um, to you know cover things up, change the color, and then you can crop it. You can use uh, it to create lower thirds. If I just go under crop here, you know, it's something like that. So many different things you can do with it. So it's very flexible. You can add um, effects over it and transitions and all kinds of great stuff. So it's pretty versatile. I usually find myself using it in pretty much every project. So that's a quick overview of the effects and generators I use within Final Cut 10. Everything else I do is done with just the built-in tools. And most of the time I'm living um, in the video tab under the inspector and you can do a lot of damage here without any effects, which is really great. I'd love to hear what effects you use. And if you see me do anything stupid in these videos, please let me know. I love and hate doing these Final Cut videos and editing videos just because um, I'm not that much of a pro at it. So I love hearing how I'm doing things wrong and much better options. So thank you guys for that. Um, that does it for this video. If you wanna see more, please subscribe here to DSLR Video Shooter and I will see you guys in the next video.